What's up YouTube, Max Lack Strings here, and today I'm very excited to announce uh, the introduction of Max Wax Mesh, um, custom coated wax mesh that I make myself. Um, here's a shamrock green piece, and here, let me show you the other ones. Here's a head strung up, Maverick Vision strung up with a white piece. Um, I'll get to that later. <coughs> and a Gate Torque 3, a Carolina Blue one that I have for sale with another white piece. And here's a Forest Green piece. Um, so what I wanted to start out with is just kind of the features of the mesh and what makes it so great. Um, I'm going to start by... I have two Maverick Visions. Where was the other one? I've got a white one right here with the Supernova stringing. Um, that looks pretty cool. But this one is strung up with white hard mesh, and this one is strung up with same pattern and everything with a uh, Max Wax mesh. So I kind of want to do a comparison of each. So here you see um, the hard mesh is. Um, they both aren't broken in yet, but this is a lot harder than the other mesh, than this one. This one's a lot softer. Um, <clears throat> but one thing I noticed is that here's the channel of this one. Um, it's kind of it's a nice channel, except it's a little flat. Um, this this channel right here is tighter and is a lot taller, which makes it look good and throw better. Um, because it stretches so well, so it stretches up nice and gives you that nice tight channel without adding any whip. <coughs> Which is another thing. Um, it adds more hold without adding more whip. So here's the hold for the Max Wax Mesh. And here is the hold for just regular hard mesh comes out a lot faster and here let me see if I can get the whip uh, it's kinda hard to show the whip on camera but they both have the same amount of whip on it which is very nice because if you don't like whip then having a non um, whippy stick with hold is always like a dream of everyone's to have that and this really helps out um, another great thing about this mesh is the pocket placement so, especially if this is nice for stringers, um, because sometimes you can't find that perfect balance between um, placing your pocket somewhere that you want and um, going based off of what kind of whip they want. So, if they wanted like a mid pocket, let's say, you can string it up um, with not too many doubles or triple ups to make them not have much whip. So you can really push in that pocket. Here, I can show you on this. This only has one double up, and then just like singles right here. Um, just kind of bunched in a little bit. And it gives you a nice deep pocket with still very little whip on it and great hold. Um, which is very nice because um, on my Nas that I just recently got, some of you may know, um, the, I was having problems with the stringing pattern because whenever as um, the Nas doesn't have many stringing holes, so whenever I tried to use a double up, it would have the perfect amount of whip, but had a very teeny pocket because I used hard mesh. Um, but when I used my triple, it had a great pocket, but too much whip. So that's always a problem, so that's why I have um, this wax mesh, which can really help because it gives you that nice pocket without adding whip on it. Um, so yeah, that's very nice. Oh, another thing on this channel is um, this mesh, it behaves very nicely because um, as some of you, if you're a stringer, then you, um, if you do a lots of tight interlocks and you pull the mesh down really tight, the other mesh, once you start to double them up, um, kind of get pushed, pushed really hard on that, uh, on that last interlock because it's being pulled on so hard. The great thing about this is when this gets pulled down hard, the other, um, the double ups don't um, get pulled against it because the wax keeps it 
from, and it keeps, like, you can basically control wherever it goes. So, um, that's another great thing about this. See, as you can see, there's the mid pocket. You can push it right down to the low pocket, and it can stay there. So if you one hand cradling, it sits right down there, and when you come back up, it's very nice. Um, there's no flaking whatsoever on the mesh. Um, I strung it up, no flaking. Um, it is a little sticky, but so is East Coast Mesh. This uh, this reminds me a lot of East Coast Mesh. It must be a similar wax formula, but I noticed this flakes less than East Coast Mesh because East Coast Mesh, when you string it at first, it flakes a little bit, um, but this doesn't flake at all. It is nice consistency. Um, this also comes in great colors. You can see it comes in the shamrock green for limited time because um, I get the stuff from Jolox and they have this that I coat. Um, it also will come in this forest green color. Um, I don't have the other colors as of right now, but it will come in like a red, blue, um, like black, other main colors. And I'll have a video on that when I have all the pieces coated and stuff. And it will also come in fades too, so black to white fades, all the would be to the white fades. Um, so that'll look very cool. Um, and yeah, I'm just really excited about this. It should be a lot of fun. Um, and as far as the pricing goes, one white piece is uh, ten dollars, and the um, one solid color piece is probably going to be twelve fifty and a fade will be fifteen dollars so that's pretty great pricing compared to east coast mash and throne mash because they're both fifteen dollars for a white piece um, and i'd have to say this is very comparable to those because this is a really nice mesh and i'm super excited about it um, and of course last but not least is the waterproof um, of the mesh so everyone knows that wax mesh is waterproof so I'll have a little clip after this um, showing you how waterproof it is um, so yeah thank you guys so much for watching um, oh, I almost forgot how to order this mesh um, what you're going to want to do is go to my website www.maxlexstrings.com and then go to my store it'll have in there um, a link well not a link um, a picture that you can click on for to order it and all ordering is with PayPal and you just click the drop down menu um, for different colors and stuff so yeah um, thanks guys for watching please comment and subscribe